Hey guys, Nina here. So in this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to use the pull tab die, A2 pull tab die. I call it A2 because it works perfectly with an A2 sized card. You'll need to separate them first. And this skinnier one cuts the channel. The wider one cuts the pull tab. There's a little uh, window kind of looking thing there and you put poke them up like that poke up and fold so this is how you create the mechanism is kind of raise it up and tuck it from the back to the front and that creates a channel for it to pull up and down. If you want, you can also push the two tabs on the window to the back and create the pull tab on the front. Either way is okay. Three of the circle cutters to create the front end. Um, there's three different sizes there. You only need to use one for each pull tab. Those are the light up latches. Um, you have one longer line and one shorter line. So when you're cutting the shorter edge of the A2 cars, you'll line it up on the shorter edge and you'll see the light up notch there. I usually will flip it. There's a score line there to help you line up. And you just put your paper right up to the lined up line and put a piece of tape on there and then cut it out. If you're creating the circle on the longer edge, you'll line it up on the longer edge side. And this way you can make sure your circle is in the middle of it. So I'll cut the channel in the front. I can't find my T-square, so I just use this ruler to help me. It still has some wiggle room in the final um, assembly, so you don't have to be perfectly perfect. So I'm using this um, turtle image and what I'm thinking is I'll have a pile of gifts and the bottom of there and the um, turtle is just happily moving up and down in his pile of gifts uh, so I only need it to go start from about the center of the card this is how I'll run my channels through the deck machine so I can have the channel stop and where I want it to be um, you can cut out the whole thing and just tape where you want the channel to start if you have something to cover the cut front just something um, in case you don't know this is my pull tab then my turtle will be mounted there and be pulled up and down you can do this from the front or from the back all you need to do is to push these two tabs either down either into the fold or up to the fold so um, since I'm going to put it from the back, I'll push these two corners up. Okay, something like that. And poke it through, poke it through and fold it down to fold it down there like that. We have a little, um, little tap die here. Oh, where's the die? Okay. We have a little tab die here that you can put a dot of adhesive on each of the little flap and put this down there to help mount your element because that will make it easier to mount the turtle on there. So that's why we inc just put it on, put a little dot of adhesive on each end and then press this down there. You could just, maybe I'll just, I'll just put the turtle down there. You know, arrange sort of like he's petting somebody and I'll just put it down there and try to put it up making sure that nothing is sticking to the things um, so this is how the turtle will go up and down the safest way is to have this piece on there and then tuck the turtle on there right so here's the wiggle room comes in it would not move anywhere because the channel is so short it only happens when you use the whole channel you might want to have 
uh, one more piece of cardstock on each end to guide the channel to guide this piece to go up and down but since my thing is so short I don't have to do that so there's three sizes of half circles you can cut out and I'm using the medium one on mine and just making sure when I put it down there it will still kind of be in the middle something like in the middle of the channel and glue it down trim up the excess so here's how the channel will look like to see how I add the adhesive just to the top of it then when I put this back in there I'll tuck it in like that something like that and it will not go all the way down because there's no more room for the channel to go up Okay, so here's how it goes. All right, can't wait to see what you guys will create with this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.